Um, and uh, in, uh, in the year of 2008, uh, Korea's uh, GDP per capita was $20,045, uh, uh, while uh, that of Ghana is uh, uh, $739. And I found that Kenya was $838. So maybe uh, you could have some uh, you know, contrast, uh, how much, you know, the, uh, 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 how many uh, reports was made uh, you know, between the uh, two countries? Yes, but how did that happen? Do you work harder? Are you more intelligent? Are you, uh, there must be something magical about you. How do you do it? <laughs> so maybe uh, I, think, uh, uh, I think, I personally think we are very lucky. Yeah. Uh, but uh, usually uh, if I explain in official way, uh, we have to, uh, tolerate my official, you know, the explanation. Uh, the first uh, reason was that uh, maybe uh, there's no clear-cut, uh, you know, analysis. But uh, usually, we have uh, uh, we have some uh, you know, some agreed, uh, you know, ideas. Uh, the first thing is that we have too much focused on uh, human resource uh, development uh, through education. Uh, you know, in the in the wake of Korean War, the uh, illiteracy rate was almost 95 percent. So when we have uh, first election under the auspices of the uh, United Nations, uh, most of the Korean people could not understand the Arabic numbers. So that's why we just uh, still used the uh, numbers of stick one, stick one, stick two, stick three. So uh, usually. Uh, one, two, three. Because we cannot use Arabic one, two, three. Nobody understands. Uh, that was even, it was in 1948. So that was uh, when we have the first uh, uh, national election uh, based on the UN uh, uh, Security Council, I know, uh, General Assembly General uh, resolution. So at this time, we start uh, focused on our uh, uh, energies uh, you know, in developing our education. So. Between 1965 and 1990, school enrollment for the secondary education increased dramatically from 42% to 99%. So uh, we think the educated labor force uh, you know, the, um, has served as a driving force for our you know, economic uh, dynamism. And the second issue was that uh, our, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, we have some uh, export-driven uh, economy. Uh, was uh, usually uh, in the 1965, uh, we have no uh, capitals, no natural resources, uh, to speak of. Um, so um, uh, in the initial stages, I mean, in the 60s, uh, we, have, we have focused on low wage, I mean, uh, labor-intensive uh, uh, industry. So uh, usually we focus on uh, textile and shoes, uh, blah, blah, which is intensified, uh, could be uh, you know, uh, competitiveness in, uh, in, uh, through the uh, labor-focused approaches. And then in the uh, uh, 1970s, we have, uh, 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 we, uh, in, uh, that is the 60s and 70s. In the 1980s, uh, we tried to, uh, to make it more competitive you know, the, uh, advantage by adopting uh, advanced technologies, especially in uh, electronic uh, goods, automobiles, and uh, shipbuildings. Uh, maybe uh, we call it uh, more uh, heavy, uh, heavy chemical, uh, heavy industries. And then we jumped into the uh, area of, uh, you know, uh, area uh, which is utilizing information and uh, communication uh, technology industries. And then uh, 1960s, we have uh, another uh, big shift uh, to, uh, uh, into the knowledge-based uh, uh, economy, uh, which could produce uh, high tech and a more value-added uh, product. So as a result of that kind of shift, we could uh, have some more competitiveness, uh, uh, you know, semi, uh, semiconductors, uh, memory chips, uh, computers, and uh, cellular phones. That was our 
you know, gradual uh, change of our uh, uh, export uh, strategy. So, uh, so export uh, read our uh, economies uh, as a, a leading uh, uh, sector. Uh, and then that is second point. And third point is that we have very uh, uh, long-term strategic uh, vision and coherent uh, uh, and balanced uh, uh, policies on the name of long-term economic development plan. Uh, the, the planning, uh, as always the case in other you know, areas of the, uh, you know, human uh, life, the plan has some, uh, sometimes the planning gives some powers, uh, especially uh, with uh, uh, scarcity of natural resources. Uh, by aligning some limited resources focused on uh, prioritized, you know, uh, prioritized area. Uh, so, uh, as a result of the, uh, that kind of uh, tactics, we had five, uh, five, five years long-term plan. So, without any pause, we should uh, continuously pursue five years, five, five years long-term economic plan from. 1962 uh, to through 1987 exactly. And then next year was the uh, host of Olympic game. Uh, the host of Olympic game was uh, uh, just in the, uh, in, the, in the time when, uh, when everything is ripe, yes, uh, when we have finished five, five years long term economic uh, plan. So uh, this, uh, and then we have some, uh, uh, we have some uh, special campaign to galvanize the economy of uh, rural economies on the name of Semaurundo. So there's many uh, interpretation of that, you know, the uh, campaign. But uh, 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 in terms of the, uh, uh, in terms of economic uh, analysis, you know, uh, by having some such campaign uh, to develop rural areas, we could uh, uh, we could uh, narrow the gap. Uh, the, average you know, the income uh, uh, levels or uh, living uh, standard between uh, metropolitan area and rural area. So that kind of uh, you know, uh, uh, reducing the gap uh, between a rural and uh, uh, urban uh, area has a good, uh, uh, good uh, psychological, uh, psychological stimulus you know, the, to, uh, to move ahead you know, the uh, whole the nations. But that was maybe uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, three major elements uh, which we usually uh, or officially you know, the I want to, we are sitting here in the United States and you know the United States well because you have served in the Consulate General in New York, you have served in the Embassy in Washington and you are now serving in the United Nations. And so by my calculation, you have lived in the U.S. for almost 15 years. That makes you... Nine years. Well, you, you can almost apply for the American Senate because you need only eight years residency to be a senator, so you are okay for uh, becoming a senator in the U.S. But tell us, obviously the relationship with the United States is critically important for Korea. Tell us more about this relationship uh, and how deep is it, not just in politics and in security, but also in trade. I find that anything that I go, I buy, buy a telephone, it says LG, lucky gold star. I mean, uh, you buy a television set, it says the monitor is made by Samsung. And so you are dominating a country which is one of the most advanced, technologically advanced countries in the world. And so if I were an American, I would be scared of you because you are dangerous. You are, uh, uh, your, your growth rate is too fast. Uh, and, and so uh, what is the relationship with the United States? Uh, basically, uh, when, we, uh, when it comes to the uh, Samsung and the LGs, you know, in the case of New York, most of people know that that is uh, that kind of uh, Things uh, came from Korea, but uh, in uh, in Midwestern, uh, even mid uh, Midwestern area, you know, most of the people believe that is made in Japan still. <laughs> uh, on the issue of the uh, the relationship between United States and Korea, uh, there's many areas, but 
one of the uh, the typical and most important elements.